day, great for little scientists. I'm Teacher B, your scientific buddy. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! Can you see these plants around me? Can you find these plants in the same place? No, you can't. Plants have adaptations to help them survive in different areas. Adaptations are special features that allow a plant or animal to live in a particular place or habitat. These adaptations might make it very difficult for the plant to survive in a different place. This explains why certain plants are found in one area but not in another. For this week's lesson, Quarter 2, Week 3, Plants Adaptation and Survival, we will identify the specialized structures of terrestrial and aquatic plants. Let's learn together! Take a look at these plants. Where can you find them? You are correct! On land! Terrestrial plants or land plants are plants that grow on, in, or from land. They obtain water and minerals from the soil. These are the adaptations of terrestrial plants. The leaves and stems of terrestrial plants, especially the young shoots, are covered with a waxy cuticle to minimize the escape of water to prevent the plants to dry out. Terrestrial plants have stomata that responds to temperature changes. Stomata is a pore found in the outer layer of plants, which used to control the exchanges of gases with the plant body. It is bordered by a pair of guard cells that regulate the size of the opening. On hot days, when leaves are at risk of losing a lot of water, the stomata are closed during the hottest part of the day. During colder days, the stomata are open to allow more carbon dioxide to be absorbed by the plant. Terrestrial plants have vascular tissues called xylem and phloem that allow transport of materials. Xylem is the water transport tissue and phloem is the nutrient transport tissue. Terrestrial plants have true roots to absorb water from the soil. These roots also help the plant get anchored to the ground. What about these plants? Where can you find them? You got it right! In or on water. Aquatic plants, water plants, or hydrophytes adapt to living in the watery environment. Aquatic plants are of three types. Floating, partially submerged, totally submerged. Unlike terrestrial plants, aquatic plants lack cuticles or have very tiny cuticles. This is to permit easy diffusion of gases through the surface. Their stomata are always open and guard cells are inactive. Aquatic plants have more stomata than terrestrial plants for easier gas exchange and there is no need to lose too much water. Floating plants are commonly flat. They are flat to distribute the weight over a large surface area. This helps them float near the surface of the water. Some aquatic plants have air sacs. These sacs keep the plants afloat in water. Roots of aquatic plants are smaller, light, and feathery. This allows for faster absorption and distribution of water into the leaves. Roots are specialized to take in dissolved oxygen in water. Other specialized structures of plants for adaptations. Roses, Mugainvillea, and Makahia plants have thorny stem for defense. 
A cactus is a desert plant. It has a thick stem that can store water and capture sunlight. Its leaves are modified into spines that have waxy or heavy covering to prevent from drying out. Pumpkins, sponge gourd, and bitter gourd are vines. They have curly thread-like parts called tendrils, which attach themselves for support. Pineapples, kogon, and talahi have sharp leaf blades which can cut skin. Some plants like durian and rafflesia have bad smell to drive insects away. It's challenge time! What is the specialized structure of water lily that makes it float on water? A. Air sacs B. Bad smell C. Thorny leaves D. Modified leaves The correct answer is A. Air sacs Very good! Which of the following plants have thorns used for defense? The correct answer is A. Bougainvillea. You got it right. True or false. On hot days, when leaves of terrestrial plants are at risk of losing a lot of water, the stomata are opened during the hottest part of the day. The correct answer is false. On hot days, when leaves of terrestrial plants are at risk of losing a lot of water, the stomata are closed during the hottest part of the day. Which part of pumpkin plants used for attachment and support? A. Air sacs B. Bad smell C. Tendrils D. Thorny stem. The correct answer is C. Tendrils. You're amazing! Why is the stem of a cactus thick and fleshy? A. For defense. B. For floating. C. For storage of water. D for driving insects away. The correct answer is C for storage of water. Great job! Wow! We're done with our lesson today. Congratulations! See you next video!